Hey guys, I'm Suleiman Khan and you're watching The Engineer Boy. Alright, so in this video, we'll be learning about the revision cloud. As you can see, you can access that from the draw panel and there we have revision cloud. Okay, you can just create a revision cloud to highlight some parts of the drawing that are being reviewed. Okay, you can even convert an object into a revision cloud. Also, you can change the style of the revision cloud. Let's do that, okay? Okay, you can also just access this functionality from the draw drop down, and there we have revision cloud. You can even just type REV and then cloud in the command bar to access this functionality. Okay, let's just specify the start point. I'll click in the working area. As you can see, it's been drawing, okay? You can just move the circle and it will also change the direction with respect to the cursor's movement. Okay, when you bring the end to the start, that will automatically close. As you can see, that's pretty amazing. Okay, you can just do that or you can draw it to highlight some drawings part. Okay, let's just delete it and for now, let me just create a line. Okay, as you can see, this is sorry, a circle. This is just a circle and let's try an ellipse. Okay, let's see this one and then one last one, let's say a rectangle. Okay, we have these objects. Now I can even convert these objects into revision clouds. Okay, you can go to the draw drop down and then click revision cloud. As you can see, we have an option for object. I'm going to type O to access the object then press enter. Now AutoCAD is asking to select the object. Let's select this circle. As you can see, it's been converted, but AutoCAD is asking if you want to reverse the direction. Let me just uh, say yes. I'm going to click yes. I'll just type Y in the command bar. So let's click yes. As you can see, it's been done. Let's try it again, okay? Just go to the draw, then revision cloud, and click the object. Let's try this ellipse. As you can see, I'm not going to reverse the direction. So let's say in space. As you can see, that's amazing. Okay. One final time, REV, and then let's say cloud in the command bar. Press enter. Now let's click object. Then let's click this uh, rectangle, you can say. As you can see, that's been converted. I want to reverse the direction. So let's click yes pretty amazing okay you can even convert this into a 3d drawing if you give it just a height you can say using uh, any command maybe uh, you can say extrude or any other thing okay that's that's good you can see it okay it's pretty amazing okay let me just delete them you can even just uh, change the uh, you can say the the length of the curvature okay if you want, let's just try that. Okay, let me just go to the draw panel, then click revision cloud, and let's just draw a revision cloud. As you can see, that one. Now you can compare this, okay, with the new one. Let's just try that. REV revision cloud. Let's say this one, and there we have an option for arc length. Let's just type A in the command bar press enter. Now AutoCAD is asking to specify the minimum length of the arc. Let me just try two units space and then for the maximum, let's try three units space or enter. Now you can just specify the start point. Okay. Let me just click. As you can see, the curvature's length is just uh, maximum with respect to the previous revision cloud. You can see that pretty amazing. Okay. So you can even change the, the, the length of the curvature. One last thing, you can change the, the style of this revision cloud. Now, as you can see, this one is just normal. You can even convert this into calligraphic, okay? Let's just do that. Just type REV and then cloud in the command bar. Press enter. Now, as you can see, we have an option for style. So let's type S in the command bar. And there we have two options. One is normal, that's already uh, activated by default. And as you can see, 
on the screen we have these two revisions cloud and these are in normal styles let's just type c to convert that into kilographic okay press enter now let's just draw a revision cloud as you can see this is just a kilographic style pretty amazing okay so that's how we can just draw a revision cloud see you in the next video